Hello everybody and welcome. So today I was expecting a little teaser for the upcoming season in year four in Rainbow Six Siege, but unfortunately it looks like they're gonna be making us wait a little bit longer. And instead today, what they have released is a dev blog regarding the reverse friendly fire. So here is this latest update regarding friendly fire. And I will leave a link in the description down below to the original source if you do wanna go and check that out for yourselves, but let's have a quick look over it. So reverse friendly fire is actually coming to the live servers tomorrow which will be the 8th of May and as we all know now when a player abuses the friendly fire mechanic to grief their teammates this system will be activated. Now I have covered many videos about this and if you do want to go and check those out to see exactly what this reverse friendly fire is all about I will leave a link in the description down below to those videos but we will go into more details here. So they go on to say as you can see that they believe that this first version will be a positive step forward in the final against team killing while maintaining the same intensity and high stakes gameplay that is core to Rainbow Six Siege. So what's really interesting there in that statement is that this is the first version. So this is something they're definitely going to be modifying as they go along and as they get feedback from the live service regarding this reverse friendly fire. And having said that, you can see that the blog goes on to say the year four season one release of reverse friendly fire is not our final version of the system. Future iterations and improvements will continue based off of data and player feedback. And as we always know now, community feedback has so far been invaluable and allowed us to make early iterations to the system. And for example, RFF can now activate based on total friendly fire damage. In these cases, there is no validation screen for the offending player's teammates. We are also striving to make it clearer how operators and gadgets will react to this system. So here now we have a list effect of reverse friendly fire on weapons and thrown objects. So these items are what will have an impact on the reverse friendly fire. We have obviously primary and secondary weapons goes without saying, direct hits from thrown unique gadgets, Maverick's torch, Buck's SK-412, the mounted LMG, and that's regardless of who's actually using a turret, of course, Ash's breaching round if it directly hits someone, Sophia's KS-79 lifeline, Nomad's air jab launcher, and finally Mozzie's pest launcher. Now before the reverse friendly fire activation, they can cause damage to teammates and will count towards activating reverse friendly fire. After reverse friendly fire has been activated, teammates will not receive damage and the damage will be reversed onto yourself. So you're definitely gonna have to be a lot more wary of your surroundings and who's gonna be potentially walking in front of you if you're chocking out a mozzie pest or firing Nomad's air jab launcher. You're definitely gonna have to have your wits about you a little bit more than what you would previously. Next up, we take a look at the explosives and these are the impacts. We have obviously generic gadgets, frag grenades, C4 and breaching charges, anything that basically results in an explosion smokes, gas grenades, and of course, Capital's asphyxiating bolts. As we've already mentioned, Ash's breaching rounds when they explode, and lastly, Fuse's cluster charge. Now, of course, here as a little side note, explosive gadgets that do not do damage, things like stun grenades and Ying's candelas, will not be affected by the reverse friendly fire in any way whatsoever. And again, to explain how this will work before the reverse friendly fire activation, any of those items can cause damage to teammates and it will count towards activating reverse friendly fire and after reverse friendly fire has been activated it can cause damage to teammates and does not reverse damage dealt but they do go on to say there that explosives currently will continue to damage teammates even under reverse friendly fire this is not intended and will be fixed in season two now there are some exceptions obviously and here we have the claymore cap cans devices hibana's pellets and thermite charge. Now all of these explosives do not trigger reverse friendly fire while under reverse friendly fire they also do not reverse damage dealt and can continue to damage teammates. This can change in the future with feedback and further game design considerations. So again really interesting there and uh, I'd love to hear your guys thoughts on it. And lastly on this list we have a look at drones and operator cameras and obviously first of all we've got Maestro's Evil Eye and a Twitch and Mozzie shock drones. Before reverse friendly 
friendly fire activation, as always, can cause damage to teammates, and these will count towards activating reverse friendly fire. And once it has been activated, teammates will not receive damage and it will be reversed onto you or whoever is doing the damage. So this is gonna be really interesting once this comes to the live servers tomorrow. And what I would really be interested in hearing is after it's been in the live servers for a day or two, perhaps come back to this video and let me know guys what you're thinking, how this reverse friendly fire is panning out. I think personally, it's definitely a step in the right direction, but some alterations are no doubt gonna be needed. And lastly, the blog goes on to say, further changes for reverse friendly fire will come during year four season two. They're gonna introduce situations where the system will activate for the whole squad. How gadgets will react and behave under reverse friendly fire will also be fine tuned based on data and feedback. I've no idea what they mean there when they say they're gonna introduce situations where the system will activate for the whole squad. What the hell does that mean? Does that mean that the entire squad is gonna be getting reverse damage? I've no idea, but that sounds interesting. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching ladies and gentlemen. I do as always appreciate your time and until next time goodbye